Well, the Burlington City Council got back to work after passing the 2021 city budget about two weeks ago. Once again, it was a busy night with councilors discussing ranked choice voting again in the Queen City. Local 22's Devin Bates has more. Burlington City Council was scheduled to discuss a wealth tax, but Councilor Perry Freeman couldn't make it to Monday night's meeting and it was postponed. Also on the agenda, ranked choice voting. It's an issue that came up last year but didn't make it out of committee. Under this council, however, progressives have the majority and some members of the public would like to see ranked choice return to Burlington. I fully support this and I urge all of you to support this. Um, whether or not you actually support ranked choice voting in and of itself, um, the whole point is to allow your constituents to vote um, and decide for themselves if they want this. Burlington used ranked choice voting from 2006 to 2010. It was repealed in the aftermath of the city's 2009 mayoral election when former progressive mayor Bob Kiss was re-elected, despite former Republican City Council President Kurt Wright receiving more first preference ballots. Kiss's term would later be viewed as the beginning of the Burlington telecom crisis in which the city's credit rating was downgraded six times. And that gets brought up often by those who opposed ranked choice. IRV promised us that we could vote our hopes and not our fears. But in Burlington, Vermont, in March 2009, the largest group of right voters who had marked, their, marked Montreal as their second choice, but by simply marking right as their first choice, they actually caused the election of Bob Kiss. This promise of vote your hopes, not your fears was not delivered to these voters. Late into the evening, councillors are still debating ranked choice, with some believing it's rushed and a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. While other councillors believe evidence is there, it will increase voter turnout and benefit Burlington. I guarantee you, most, a large part of the public has no idea. We are here tonight on Zoom voting on changing the way we vote. I have not heard a problem. There is no problem. There's no problem. America has such a strong like voter turnout problem and like Burlington isn't unique in that like we have a problem. I don't I we're not look this isn't a, this is a solution to a well-known problem, a well-known solution to a well-known problem. Devin Bates with